Well, hello. I am so, so excited. My name is Laura Rudman Edwards Rudman Edwards Rudman Ray. And this is the very first edition of my cooking show called Brain Dead and the Burbs and Cooking Your Way Back to Sanity or just brain dead and cooking. I want you to be popular. I want you to be loved. I want you to realize because your brains are also sucked out and you probably don't have time to pee either that you will be a hit at every single party you ever go to. So what do you think? Is it a great idea? I hope so. So this is going to be the very first recipe. It is called my Aunt Gail's famous brisket recipe. So what you do is all you do is you get the best cut of meat that you, you possibly can. Every butcher in all of the Midwest know, know me. They're kind of, kind of like, oh my God, Laura, come on in. Um, every time I make this, no matter if I'm making it for this, the kids' swim team banquet or if I'm making it for a birthday party, my poor husband comes in at 6 o'clock in the morning and sees it and is like, ah, oh, shit, who died now? But... You don't have to make it just for a wake or a shiva. You can make it anytime. So what you do is you take the beef. I always use this aluminum foil pan because it's just, it makes it, I don't know why, but it makes it a lot more moist. So at your favorite kind of sauce, I mean, your favorite kind of spice, you just kind of put it on. This is the secret. This is called Crazy Jane's Mixed Up Salt. Cover it with that. And then what I always do is I take potatoes. You can either make your, you can either buy those little tiny red potatoes or my family love these. These are like the bigger red potatoes that I slice. I just place it around here as I drop it all over the place. La di da. I promise you, you will love this. The key to this, too, is to cook it forever. So I always put it in the oven at about 8 o'clock in the morning. At like noon or 1, I take it out and I slice it, and then I put it back in, cover it, and cook it till about 5 or 6. And then your family will go crazy. Anyway, you cover it with, you just put the potatoes all the way around, make it really pretty. And then you take... Here, take the onions. I usually cut up like a medium-sized onion. That looks like enough. And then Worcestershire. You can't ever have enough Worcestershire. So you put it all over the brisket. And then put a little bit more of your favorite pepper. And then this secret Crazy Jane's mix of salt. If you can't find this at the grocery store, it's usually in the spice aisle, but if you can't find it, kosher salt works really well too. And then the Heinz chili sauce. So you put that on your brisket. And I always use two jars. And I'm gonna throw one away. And once again, it's not pretty, but it will be delicious. And then more Worcestershire, a little bit more Crazy Jane's. See how easy this is? How long did this take me? And then a little bit more pepper. And you're done. So then I will take the aluminum foil. I also, in my spare time, besides working as a law firm sales rep, being a mom of two kids and a semi-adopted daughter and a stepson, I also make up uterine-driven diseases. Yes, I know, I'm a little odd. One of my diseases is called generosity Tourette, and it's when words spew out of your mouth that you have no control over. So it's just like, oh, your Uncle Harry died? I never met him, but I'm sure he was a really great guy. You want me to make a brisket? How many people are coming? 70? 
Okay, I'll make six. So anyway, this recipe is perfect for anybody with generosity Tourette's because I know you're out there. If you're going to be my new best friend, you've got the disease as bad as I do. You know, words like, oh, you don't have any place to live? We've got a mother-in-law's quarters downstairs. You can stay there. Or you're broke and want half my paycheck? Or your daughter's getting married and you can't afford a DJ? You know what? My husband's a DJ. He'll do it for free. He's a good guy. <laughs> Not. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm now going to put it in the oven at 350. Oh my God, it weighs a ton. I cannot wait for you to try this. So, my lucky, lucky cameramen get to try this. And hopefully they'll think it's great. So this is after cooking for, let's say, four hours first. And then you slice it, then you put it back in, and you cook it for like another three hours. And voila. Ooh, ah. I always thought that, that the Hollywood cooks who like taste their food and like, oh, I'm so good. I'm just such a wonderful cook. It's like it's kind of saying, oh, I'm so funny. Oh, I'm so cute. So we're from the show me state. I am not going to say a word, but I am going to have my wonderful, wonderful camera people taste this. And then they can give you, I always like to see people's face when they taste the sandwich for the first time. Yeah, it's, so you see how juicy it is? And what I did was when I sliced it up after the first four hours, I ended up cutting a lot of the fat off of it, which made it better. And then what I'm going to do is give you each as the spoon fell into the gravy. <laughs> Oops. So, who wants to try it first? What do you think? See, I always like to see people's faces. It's like, isn't it good? Oh, yeah. And it's so easy. And when you saw that it took me like probably about four or five minutes to make it. I mean, just to put it together and then cook it forever. But it will last forever and people just go crazy over it. Oh, yeah. This is great. Cool. Happy dance. It's the brisket happy dance. <laughs> okay, my turn. All right. <laughs> so this is Scott. This is wonderful cameraman number two. Producer, director, king, a little bit of CEO. Everything. However you want to eat it. Cool. And now we have to look at his face too. <laughs> Not bad. Oh yeah, this is awesome. So I hope you liked the very first episode of my very first show, Brain Dead and Cooking. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you're going to be the biggest hit at your party. And if I see you sometime, because you know we are going to be new best friends, always remember, just tell me where to go and how much I owe. Karma, karma, karma. Thanks. Can't wait till next time. <laughs>